Hey y'all, welcome back to Technique by Cowboy. Today I'm going to give you a few advanced drills on how to get straighter legs and pointed toes in your kickover or back walkover. Again, this is not a video on how to learn a back walkover entirely, but if you're struggling with how to get straighter legs in your kickover or have your pointed toes and straight legs all the way through a back walkover, these drills are gonna help to isolate the movement and practice to get you stronger and more technically correct throughout that skill. If you're doing this at home, please make sure that you have parent supervision, you are approved by a coach, you already have a strong bridge shape, and you have a good, safe surface to use in your house. You can use a carpeted area, you can use a foam pad, you can use a mattress, anything you'd like. We're using mats from Victory Athletics today. There is a link in the description box below if you're looking for mats at home and use promo code COWBOY to get a small discount today. So as we go through these shapes, remember we are doing the advanced drills for the back walkovers today. Okay, so we're back here with Emma again and we're gonna show you some basic positions that go into advanced movement to perfect the straight legs in the back walkover. Now, what Emma's gonna do first is show you a proper bridge. Go ahead and bend back into that bridge, Emma. Now, what we're looking for, the chin is down so she can spot the ceiling. Her legs are straight, her feet are together, so we're promoting flexibility in the shoulders and the hips, not in the lower back. Now, what we're gonna start with is just a simple leg lift, hold, and switch. So Emma's gonna lift one of her legs, She's gonna keep a pointed toe and a straight knee the entire time, hold, then she's gonna drop and switch and alternate legs each time. This is promoting leg strength in the correct shape that she's gonna use in her back walkover and practicing on both sides. Once you've mastered the ability to keep your legs straight in isolated movement during those switches, we're gonna add a little extra difficulty to make them straight during the jump switch position. So Emma's gonna lift up into that bridge position, making sure that she has a strong bridge shape. She's gonna lift one leg into the air first, and then she's going to jump off of her bottom leg, switching her legs in midair, trying to maintain a straight leg with pointed toes the entire time. So for our final advanced movement drill, what we're gonna do is set up that exact same bridge shape. So Emma's gonna go into a strong bridge shape, what she's gonna do is take her push leg and bend that leg slightly so that she has a bent knee to be able to push from. And then she's going to kick her kick leg, push from her push leg, and land back into this extended bridge. So show them that one more time, Emma. She's going to kick, push up off the floor, and then land with that top leg still extended in the straight line. You can go ahead and come down. So this will help to give you not only a straight leg, but a straight leg with the strength and precision to initiate your kickover or your back walkover with perfect technique. So we went through some of these drills today with Emma that she's actually never even done before, but she was able to learn very quickly and it helped to give her straighter legs in this kickover process. Now, as you're practicing at home, make sure that you are doing each piece correctly. Use the recap at the end of this video to go through each section of skills and this will help promote the technique that you need in your kickover or your walkover. Now, Emma, thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. And tune in next time, Technique by Cowboy. Make sure to press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Also, please leave a comment and let me know what skill are you working on? What do you have an issue with that I can help you in a future video?